In this video, I'm gonna show you how I built an entire brand campaign all within Kittle using both its design features and AI capabilities. I'm gonna walk you through the entire process, all of the different sections and the journey along the way of building this. I'm gonna show you different prompting tips and different features within Kittle that you can use to essentially do this same thing. So let's go ahead and jump into the artboard and get this started. So this is a very full project with a lot of things in it. So zooming out, this is basically everything that I created for this kind of mock campaign, mock product, right? This is not a real thing. This is concept work, but this was a lot of fun to do. And I'm going to walk you through a different things that are going on here and the thought process behind it. So essentially the idea was a creatine brand that was kind of minimal and utilitarian in nature because I use creatine after I work out or just on a normal day. And every single kind of creatine branding, I just don't really like it. It doesn't really suit my minimal utilitarian vibe. So it's fun to dream sometimes and kind of create something that doesn't exist. So that was essentially the brief in my head for this project. And so I went ahead by concepting some logos. So we're not using any AI yet here. We'll get to that. So this is just a couple of different artboards with some colors on it. Nice little brand gradient, as you can see here, some artboards and some brand typography. The font used in this, I am so sorry, is not in Kittle. Non-natural grotesque is not in Kittle. Unfortunately, I purchased this myself because I love it and I use it a lot. I use it for a lot of different projects. So if you want to go check that out, amazing. If not, here are some font recommendations for a similar look. Don't want to leave you hanging. So not really anything too crazy to call out on these logos. I did add a little bit of a stroke around the text to kind of beef up the logo, not make it quite as sharp. Like this is minimal and utilitarian, but this is a creatine product. So like kind of health, fitness, natural supplement type vibes. So I wanted it to have a little bit of a human feel, right? And not as sharp on those edges. Tiny, tiny tweak, but it really does make a world of difference if I zoom in here switching between these, it really just adds kind of a human element. And I super love seeing how this logo can be mocked up on different colors. The gradient looks great. And I also just created a simple C kind of monogram logo. Here are the colors. Again, nothing too crazy. I did add a sub font here, Instrument Serif. That isn't Kittle. There you go. Hey, I told you I wouldn't leave you hanging. And I put the reasoning to why I chose these fonts here. Non-natural grotesque is strong modern and utilitarian, but for some sub copy or some other things within ads or on product design, we're going to use instrument serif as well because it's classic, trustworthy, and neat. So we want a brand that kind of encompasses both of these things. I heard it put this way one time, the typeface or the font is like the clothes that your words wear, right? So when your words get up and get dressed in the morning, what are they going to communicate? That's the font, right? So make sure that you are choosing typefaces that help your brand's tone of voice, which definitely these do. All right, let's move on to some fun stuff. We're in the AI realm now. Let's go. I did some product mock-ups, just some concept work to kind of see if this kind of works. You know, I wanted to see how this product would look and feel, how it could look just mocked up. And rather than having to pay somebody very expensively to do like a 3D CAD of this or like a rendering or have somebody actually make this product for me physically and pay thousands of dollars to do that. I just use some simple prompts just to see if it was worth chasing. You can see all of my prompts under here. If you want to pause the video and look at these prompts, you definitely can. There's some little nuggets in there, but I'll go ahead and walk through them very slowly. This was just an artboard with the word mark on it, and I clicked this to add a smart board. And then I selected my AI model, which was Nano Banana Pro, and used this prompt right here to get this fantastic generation. I mean, it made me really, really happy when I got this. From there, I definitely wanted to see what this bag, this product would look kind of on its own. Just a product mock-up if you were scrolling on the website, what would the listing look like? So I did this, show me this package as a clean product shot, vertically and horizontally centered. The bag is on a white background with natural shadows, top-down flash photography, bloomed highlights to create a soft editorial look. So I'm adding a lot of detail here about how I want the product to be shot, from what angle, 
what photography style, right? So we're not letting the AI just drive blind with no details. We want to add those details in there. Let's jump down to this one. I had to be very specific with this one to get this kind of metal scooper. I went through a couple different iterations and found that I just wasn't really explaining it very well. And then I realized that I could have just drug in an image of a plastic version of one of these and been like reference this, but make the scooper metal which would probably been a better workflow, but I fought with it prompting to try to actually get the words right for it to generate what I wanted. So I said, show me this image from a different angle. I was just referencing this one using the remix feature. You can click, boom, remix, and then I prompted this and generated this right here. Show me this image from a different angle at a small cylindrical flat edge metal scooper had to get really, really specific. Like you use for protein powder, position it next to the bag on the table, keep the same flash photography editorial style with bloomed highlights. You'll kind of see that throughout all of these prompts. I added that flash photography bloomed highlights editorial look lingo throughout the entire process because I really wanted to make sure that AI kept that kind of motif throughout the entire project. Then I actually had it do a top down by clicking this one and this one and hitting remix together. So I used this, you know, obviously it's referencing it as a top down shot and this one has the metal scooper in it. So I need both of these images rather than taking this and trying to prompt to get that scooper again. It's like the odds that you're going to be able to generate the exact same scooper. It's going to give you a headache, right? So just being able to click and select both of these hit remix, as you can see, they're both referenced right here using these images as a reference, show me a clean top down product shot of the bag and scooper on a white background, natural shadows came out super, super clean, just good. You can use Nano Banana Pro or you can use Nano Banana Pro 4K. If you are wanting to use a little bit less credits while you're prompting, you can use Pro and then you get something that you really love and you're confident about, you can use Nano Banana Pro 4K to upscale it. You could just click it, upscale this to 4K with crisp details and it'll do it, it'll look great. Jumping down here, I asked it to essentially generate somebody using the scooper to put the creatine in a glass, right? So we want to build out this brand environment a little more. I think that I used these two images together, but here's my prompt down here. If you want to pause and take a look at that, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Now on to this, which I love these generations. I think they're my favorite, probably of this entire video, what I'm going to show you. This was actually like no lie first shot, first try, it nailed exactly what I wanted the water bottle to look like. So I think that I used this image and this image together, the actual artboard of the logo, because, you know, if I was just referencing this and telling it to put the logo on a water bottle, you have to remember that it needs the original reference of the logo too. So I said, using these images as a reference, I selected this and this one together. Maybe I even selected a third. The more references you can give it, sometimes it has more to work with and draw from. Generate a glass minimalist water bottle with a brushed metal top. I did not update this prompt down here, but I did say laying down next to it. So I didn't get it wrong, so don't roast me. So essentially it said, use these images as a reference, generate a glass minimalist water bottle with a brushed metal top laying next to the bag with the logo in white on the bottle. The logo is rotated 90 degrees to read up the bottle. I was really proud. Good job, Nano Banana. I was really, really proud that it did that the first try and love that. Flash photography, bloom highlights, you know, the whole motif. And then this, I just, I love, it's just so good. Like the natural shadows on white, using these as a reference, show me a clean top down product of this glass, you know, whatever shadows. I just did this and those two together for that one. And it just, absolutely crushed it. It just did such a good job. So that is all for the product mockups section. Like I said, if you want to go and, you know, pause and steal these prompts, I may even post this entire thing as a Kittle brand builder project. If you want me to do that, drop a comment and let me know. Just say, please put this as a brand builder template in Kittle and I'll totally get that sorted out. On to brand imagery. I didn't do a ton here, right? I just wanted to do a little bit of simple concepting. You can see the prompt here. Pro tip, if you're ever prompting and you were like, what prompt did I use for that image? If you just click over in the right hand, if you prompted that image and generated it in that project, the prompt is attached to that image, right? So boom, you can copy it right here if you want to use it again. And so I just did a standard image generation with one of our styles. 
by doing generate image. I did style and then went down to photo and actually used the motion haze preset. These presets are super, super helpful. If you don't know, you know, different photography terminology or a style of a photo like product photography, that's a fantastic preset for this or hard flash. Like I said, I used the motion haze one for these because it just captured the type of emotion that I wanted to with these. Fashion focus actually could be a fantastic one if I ever did, you know, mock-ups of like the logo on clothes or anything like that. So definitely take advantage of the styles. They're kind of a hidden gem. Not really a lot of people know about them and or take advantage of them. It is a newer feature. So yeah, just check that out and make sure that you're using that so that you don't fight with prompting and waste a bunch of credits. And then I hit four down here. And for aspect ratio, I think I did three, four. That would probably make the most sense. And then just generated four and then just switched up the prompt to female runner for this bottom set of posters. You know, I could see this mocked up on a wall in a city where you have a bunch of different posters all next to each other. I love when brands do that, when you have a bunch of the same poster or iterations of the same poster, I just think it looks really, really cool. So that's just some simple brand imagery to kind of get an idea for the look and feel, the attitude of this brand. All right, beefing up a little bit, adding a little bit more design into this. I did some sample ad creatives using the imagery from down here. So any of the ones right here that are vertical, I actually did this little workflow right here. So I took the original generation and then the prompt here, I said content aware fill the top and bottom of this image to make it 916. Don't change the position or likeness of the bottle or shadows simply fill in the white space above and below. And it did it. It did it perfectly. And like I said about upscaling before, then I used Nano Banana Pro 4K with the prompt, upscale this image to 4K, refining the details and making it crisp. And it just crushed it. It is like, I can zoom in and it's like a product shot. It looks fantastic. So that is the tiny little workflow for all of these vertical ones, I wanted to make sure that I added that so you're not like, hey, how did you you know, fill the top and the bottom? That's exactly how I did it. I actually used the same kind of workflow over here because this image didn't quite fill the space that I wanted to to a lot for this wording. So I used the reframe tool to go here and drag more and it actually generated out the size so that I could position it there and put my text on the bottom with this little you know, transparency to make sure that the text is readable. We've got another simple ad right here. This is a little bit more of a billboard one. This one just has a solid background. And what I did for this is just took the original OG generation right here and hit remove background on it. And then it was just perfect. And then I just boop, just put that over there and it looks great. Okay, now on to some even more fun stuff. I did some ad mockups so that you could kind of see a little bit more of this environment unfold, kind of see these ads in a real environment, mocked up how they would actually appear on a phone, on a billboard, et cetera. And so for these first two sets, I just use mockups that we already have in Kittle. A very, very easy way to do this is just select the artboard that you're using. There's a couple different ways you can do this actually. Boom, you have mock-up right here and your contextual taskbar. You can add a mock-up over here in the right-hand panel or we have mock-ups in the left-hand panel as well. And so as soon as you click one of these, it's just gonna populate right next to your artboard and then you can drag it wherever you would like. The hidden fourth way that you can do this, which I actually only discovered this past week, maybe it's a new feature, is you can click and drag this node anywhere you want to have your options pop up. So rather than just clicking it and it just goes right next to it or down where maybe you don't want it and then you have to move it, you can actually click and drag that node and it'll place that smart board right there for you. Again, for all of these, all of these mockups are just in Kittle and I just wanted to see what these different ad creatives would look like mocked up in different environments. I actually did go one step further with this set specifically with these two. So I actually just clicked and added another smart board and prompted more changes on top of the mockup that was in Kittle, which is another fantastic hack of not starting from scratch. Use one of our mockups and then use AI to iterate on that. You don't want to like pull an inspo photo from somewhere else that you don't know where it's coming from, or you can't get a great photo yourself. Just use one of our product mockups to start and then manipulate further from there. So with this one, 
I just changed this image by saying, change the person in this image to a girl with silver dyed hair, wearing a black hoodie, match the same facial expression and tone of the shot, change the background to white, don't change the position or imagery of the phone or design on the phone at all. Keep it clean and clear. And it did a fantastic job. Didn't change the mock-up on the phone at all. All the text is still the same. I basically did something similar with this one as well. Change the tabletop and background to white. Leave the phone untouched. So that is an absolute life hack, especially with like clothes or the model mock-ups in Kittle. If you find one and you're like, man, I wish that the person in this was a female and not a male or whatever, you know, so just add a smart board next to it, prompt it, add your changes and get your fantastic generation. Lastly, I just did this one for fun because I like billboards. I think that billboards are cool, especially when it's a really good design. I'll just like stop and take a picture of it. I don't know what it is about billboards. I prompted this guy right here. I didn't even go super heavy with this. I just said, mock this design up on a digital billboard in a crowded New York City Times Square corner. It's nighttime with heavy traffic. The screen is bright and lighting up the surrounding area. And it did a fantastic job of capturing this environment. Good, very goodly. It did it very goodly, did a good job. And so. I absolutely love this workflow and it is absolutely unbeatable for just building out brand environments, brand concepts. And the real perk of this is say you're a logo designer or a brand designer, a lot of clients are not going to be as quick to say yes if they can't see the vision. And like you as the designer, you can see the vision and they can't. So this is a very, very quick way to build out assets so that they're like, oh, okay, I kind of see the environment, the tone, how this logo actually works versus just sending them this and then being like, I don't get it. They're actually seeing it in an environment used fully to the full extent that it can be used and they'll be more likely to say yes. And it really didn't take that much time. It also opens up another door for you to, you know, offer additional services with different ad creative or mockups that you create for them as well. So keep that in mind as you're creating for yourself or taking on new projects. Well, that's all for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me today and checking out this brand that I created. I did it entirely in Kittle and you can do the same. Remember, Kittle is free to try out, but if you want to upgrade to a paid plan, we have a promo code in the the description of this video just for you kittle on yt use that to get a percentage off one of those paid plans again i can't convey enough how much it means that you would watch through this entire video you guys are the only reason that we're here doing what we're doing so thank you so much we'll see you in the next one cheers